Other Americans besides Leonard have progressed from the Olympics to become some of boxing's great pound-for-pound -pound professional fighters. Mark Breland launched his pro career after winning the welterweight title in 1984. And also in LA, lightweight Pernell Whitaker won gold in the division that he later professionally unified. This is Laszlo Papp, the great Hungarian Olympian. He still trains boxers in Budapest at 70 years of age. Papp took to boxing as a hobby away from his life as a railway worker, and he qualified to compete in the first post-war games in London in 1948. In the middleweight final, he met Englishman John Wright, and outboxed him despite a height and weight disadvantage. Egy nagyon hosszú, magas gyerek volt, hát általában magasabbak voltak az ellenfelei. És hát három menetet boxoltam vele, de pontozással sikerült megvernem. Gold medal number one for Pap. Four years later, he went to Helsinki to compete in the new light middleweight division. In this final, he was up against South African Tunis van Schalkwijk. Pap's skill outwitted his bigger opponent once again. In the third round, he chased the South African all around the ring and left the judges with little possible doubt about their decision. A second goal for the Hungarian who returned to a hero's welcome in Budapest. He stayed at light middleweight for the Melbourne Games, where in the final he met the future world light heavyweight champion, Jose Torres. He was a southpaw, left-handed. He was shorter than me, and he was talking. And uh, in the first round, I came out boxing my way, and I beat him in the first round, and I beat him easily. I came back, and I was sure that I was going to be the gold medalist because I beat him too easy. So in the second round, I, was, I started to him very easily in the second round, and then all of a sudden he sneaked a right hook uh, to my jaw, and uh, he shook me up a little bit, but I got mad. And the people jumped up, you know, and I began to rush him, and he began to use his head, jab and move, jab and move, jab and move, and I couldn't touch him after that, until I got mad. He, he made good use of his experience. Igen, kemény kötésű fickó volt, három menetet boxoltam vele, vagy kétszer-háromszor számolt rá bíró, és három menetet boxoltam vele, és pontozással vertem meg a döntőbe. Pap became the first boxer to win three Olympic goals. He was now allowed by Hungary to fight professionally and became European champion. Pap is 37, Müller a year younger. Little between them in weight or height, little difference in muscle power either. But the Hungarian had that inner spark which makes a boxer into a champion. The communist regime would not allow Pap to go on to fight for a world title, but the WBC still awarded him a belt. Ezt úgy, úgy kaptam meg, hogy ők sejtették azt, hogy ha engednek a világbajnokságért, akkor meg tudtam volna nyerni a világbajnokságot, és ezért, ezért a tiszteletből elkötték ezt az ővet, amit akkor kaptam volna meg, ha sikerül megnyerni. Pat became frustrated as the authorities balked at the money he could earn in the ring. He quit and turned to training. Mert nem engedtek tovább abszolút. Azt mondták, hogy keresett maga egy fél óra alatt 70 ezer forintot, mikor egy melósnak 3 ezer forint a fizetése. Még mondtam, hogy ha maga fizetése is 3 ezer lesz, én is fogok annyit maxolni. Over 30 years before, a British boxer had become the first to successfully defend an Olympic title. The London policeman Harry Malin had won the gold medal at middleweight in Antwerp, where he beat George Prudhomme of Canada in the final. That was in 1920. 
Four years later in Paris, he actually lost a contest to a Frenchman, Roger Bruce, on points. But Bruce was later disqualified for unintentionally biting Mallon, who went on to beat John Elliott in the last All-British final. Later, Mallon managed the Olympic boxing teams in 1936 and 1952, and he was the commentator on the very first BBC television sports outside broadcast in 1937. After Malin, Britain had to wait 32 years for its next boxing gold. In 1956, 18-year-old Terry Spinks was a late entry for the team making the long, expensive trip to Melbourne. They didn't have enough money to send a full team of uh, 10 boxers, and they picked uh, Owen Riley, a band weight, Tommy Nichols, a featherweight, Dick Mataggart, a lightweight, John McCormack, a light middleweight, and Ron Red up the middleweight he was was from West Ham Boxing Club. They didn't have enough money to send me. And the papers kept on putting in this boy to go to the Olympic Games and that was Red Scutridge, Wally Bartman, George Whiting and Harry Carpenter. It was the biggest trip of my life. I boxed an Indian boy in the first fight, Harris. And I can't remember the second fight. Then I boxed a bear, who was a French champion. Then I boxed the Boschke who remained him in the final. Terry Spinks was the golden boy. Only 18, he had the face of a choir boy and the cheekiness of the born Cockney. Wearing his lucky number seven, Spinks boxed his flyweight final with quicksilver speed against the Romanian Debrescu. Whatever Debrescu tried to do, Spinks had an answer with his snapping left hand and his breezy footwork. There wasn't any doubt that Spinks had won, and he was the first British boxer for 32 years to win a gold medal. I was too young. I was 18. And being in race in the I didn't realise what the Olympic Games was. It was a hard contest. He was a, a, a fighter, really, a two-handed fighter, and I was, I was a boxer, and I moved around that ring 30 miles an hour. <laughs> The 1956 ABA lightweight champion was the stylish Scot, Dick McTaggart. He'd also made the long journey to the Melbourne Olympics. Well, I think it took us five days going over and four days coming back then. We stopped at Singapore, New York, France, San Francisco, Honolulu, oh, all out of this world. What a trip. Wouldn't mind doing it again. McTaggart moved through to the final, where he met the European champion, Harry Korshat of Germany. I knew he was a European gold medal when I met i never met him before until then. I watched him boxing uh, before the, before, uh, after I won my contest. I stayed and watched his contest in the semi finals and I uh, seen his contest. So I knew he was fighting a tough one. I knew he could battle for nine minutes, no bother. 